Former employees of the Singapore arm of coffee startup Flash Coffee will not receive any old salaries in the near term, as the process of liquidating the company here will take some time. Ms. Julie Chong, president of the Food, Drinks and Allied Workers Union FDOL, gave this notice of what lies ahead for those affected in an update on Tuesday, more than a week after the company abruptly closed all 11 of its outlets island-wide. In her update, she said the FDOL is assisting the former employees with filing their cases of old salaries with the Tripartite Alliance for Dispute Management, as well as with queries regarding the filing of proof of debt. A proof of debt is a declaration made by creditors to substantiate the debt the company owes them. Under the law, employees of an insolvent company are entitled to be paid their wages and salaries, followed by retrenchment benefits and ex grossier payments, in priority of other unsecured creditors. This payment is subject to a limit of 5 months' salary, or $13,000, whichever is lower. Those the union spoke to on October 13 reported being owed salaries, central provident fund contributions and encashment for unused leave, Ms. Chong said in a statement that day. The former employees were told at a meeting on October 12 that the company had been placed on provisional liquidation and their services were terminated effective that day. A video showing Flash Coffee's shuttered Jurong Point outlet began circulating on TikTok on October 12. The video shows a poster apparently put up by the outlet staff, stating that they were on strike due to several late salary payouts. However, Ms Chong said in her previous statement that those the union spoke to on October 13 reported no explicit plans to put up any coordinated action after they were informed of the company's situation. Flash Coffee is not unionized here. A company spokesman said on October 13 that Flash Coffee has about 200 outlets globally and decided to cease operations here to further consolidate our future efforts and to double down on our most promising markets. The Singapore unit which listed Flash Coffee co-founders David Brunier and Sebastian Henneker as its directors, filed notice on October 12 that it is unable to continue its business due to liabilities. It filed for a voluntary winding up and was placed under provisional liquidation. Video Advisory has been appointed as the company's liquidator. The Straits Times understands a creditors' meeting is set to be held on or before November 10. In her update, Ms Chong said the union had assisted the former employees with job matching, with several of them undergoing interviews with companies that have contacted the union. Details of the National Trades Union Congress's Union Training Assistance Program for subsidized training have also been shared with union members who work for the company. She added. She said the FDOR is working with Flash Coffee's former area manager to share with workers previously under his care about the labor movement support they can tap.